How Memories Are Formed In the 1950s, researchers discovered that when it comes to memories, an area of the brain called the hippocampus creates the memories. The hippocampus encodes facts, episodes and emotions. Then, another area of the brain, called the prefrontal cortex, is the memory center and stores these memories in the short-term memory and then moves the more meaningful memories to the long-term memory. The popular theory was that all memories start in short-term memory and then over time they are consolidated into a lifetime version. However, researchers at MIT have recently discovered something even more amazing. Their research has proved that the brain actually makes two memories of events at the same time. One is for the short-term memory and the second is for the long-term memory. Therefore, two parts of the brain are involved in collecting and storing personal experiences. Short-term memory can hold about six or seven items for about 30 seconds. Long-term memories tend to be abstract, more like concepts. Once a long-term memory is formed, the more the pathway or synapse is activated, then the stronger the memory becomes. Memories are not stored individually though. They are different pieces of information linked together and they are reconstructed using different parts of the brain. Sleep is very important for memory retention. When we are asleep, the hippocampus and the neocortex conduct a kind of dialogue during which the hippocampus replays recent events. The neurons that were active during an experience are reactivated during sleep and this helps the neocortex sort out what needs to be stored. So if you are not getting enough sleep, you will start to notice that your memory becomes weaker because what you are doing is you are preventing your brain from consolidating memories.